everyone and welcome back to my channel Jackie's Crafty Time. Um, I have successfully got my daughter to nap. Sorry about that. I thought I slipped this. Um, before I start doing diamond painting and chit chatting with you I wanted to show what I got in the mail. Um, I got one of these. Let's see if I can get it in camera. The diamond painting notebooks actually. Um, I ordered one just so I could see what they're like. I'm gonna open it up for you. I really like the colors on this one. So they come with uh, the standard kit, the pen, boat, wax, couple baggies. I won't use that, but I'll keep it just in case I want to craft with the pen. Um, so the symbols, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. It's a little dark, but see what I'm talking about here. Oh, there. That's a little better. I don't know why I went up so close. Okay, um, so there's the symbols. They actually look really clear. When I first looked at them, I thought the eights were a little blurry, but I can see them um, very sticky. So that's good. And let's take a look at the colors and the special shapes that come with this one. So it's going to be crinkling for a second. So I hope everybody is having a good day, had a good week. I am doing my talk with me. Um, let's start at the beginning. Uh, my talk with me Tuesday on a Wednesday because I was just super, super exhausted yesterday and I just couldn't. So, all right. So we're going to start with number one. Really pretty little pearl-like ones. There's some blue crystals, some bigger pearls. This one's really pretty, this blue pearl type of one. This is gold, gold one. It's really pretty red. Looks like reddish orange. I think it's coming up more orange in the camera there. These ones, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on the camera. But they're like teardrops, but they're like rainbow teardrops. They're actually really, really pretty. And these ones, clear. We got some light green. And then the blue here. So that's all the colors. There's only 10 colors. Or 10, yeah, colors and special shapes. And um, they just go by, like on the bag, it says number six or number five. And then you just go, so I want to see what number seven. Okay, so all around this is all going to be those rainbow teardrops. So that's going to be really pretty. And actually, they give you quite a bit for the just those little bits there. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited. I might do this one right before I start the cub just because I think it'll only take me a day and it's just a blank book that I just bought so I can put stickers in when I get any stickers from any uh, any orders that I receive so yeah it's like my new little sticker book so I'm just gonna put that off to the side get back in here so I don't lose it and then when I fill this one up, I can get a different sticker book. Um, I actually placed an order with Lori today for uh, Lori from All That Sparkles on Facebook. I will try and remember to put it down in the description, her Facebook group. Um, she's in Canada, ships out of Canada and stuff. She has really great little snack size stuff on there right now, so I got... Uh, I ordered four bookmarks from her and a mermaid. Uh, you you will know them when you see it. When I get it in, I'll show you. Uh, the mermaid tail diamond pen, diamond painting pen. I had one when I first started diamond painting, and I don't think I kept it. So I think I finally cracked it because I was trying to pull the 
I was trying to pull the metal tip out because it had broke so I thought if I could get that out and replace it and I think I ended up cracking the end of it so yeah it's done now um, so here we are diamond art clubs sorry child rolled <laughs> here she is little peanut yeah she rolled and interrupted me so if you ever hear me go like silent it's normally because she's making a noise or moving or waking up or one of those options um, so here we are diamond art club still uh, bubble fairies I am aiming to have this done uh, by this weekend and then I will be doing a full kitting up video of the crystal um, white tiger cub that I received from Lori that I purchased and I did I already did the unboxing of that one um, and I was thinking about because I do want to do the unboxings like I did for the diamond art clubs this little light of mine so I think when I finish the tiger cub Whichever one I'm going to do next, I'm going to do an unboxing video first, and then I'll do, um, then I'll do the kidding up video. I don't know if I'll do a full kidding up video every time, but we'll see how the first one goes. Some of the Diamond Art Club ones have like a lot of colors, so we'll, we'll see. Um... Yeah, so I'm aiming to have this one done. I think if I like buckle down, I get time to actually do it because I'm off. Um, am I even in? Yeah, okay. I didn't even check if I was in the camera view when I. This wax is this wax or putty? This is wax. Where's my wax plate? Should have had this ready, right? I know. I am not perfect. And wax plates. My wax plate, which is from Amy over at All That, uh, not All That Sparkles, that's Lori. Uh, this is from Amy over at Sensible by Design, which is where the little heart trash can, trash bowls from, and this heart cover binder. All of my cover binders are from Amy. And I absolutely love them. I think they're super, super cute. Okay, so when you're using her wax, all I do is scratch the top without scratching your pen like that. Get a build up and then you just push it in. Run your nail, make it smooth. Put the excess there. And then if I can find my little little thing I made myself, because I'm super crafty, this little thing with the extra drills, and I just push it on, get the extra wax out. And then you're ready to go. And that's it. All right. So, yeah, I, I think if I can get some time... Like I said, I'm off after today. I have to work tonight. Um, if I really work on it good, sneak away sometimes during this week, during the weekend here. I'll probably end up staying up way too late when I get to the end. Because after this section here, these are the two biggest squares. These two are really small, so I think I can either put them two together and just get it done or go one at a time and have just the really small sections I'll see when I get over there but once I get like towards the end I get excited because I'm like oh I get to kit up a new kit and um, I'm also looking to get a storage not really storage but I'm gonna look for either I've seen on Pinterest a baking sheet for my cover minders um, for to stick them all together right now I have them all stuck to my lamp which is I, I like them there but I seem to be accumulating more than I thought I was going to um, it's like pens apparently 
I decided that, you know, I don't need pens. I have pens. Why would I need, you know, three or four pens? Well, I joined the group Diamond Pens on Facebook, and she has two uh, diamonds in her name. And I had no idea how to order a pen or anything. Like, I just... So I asked her, and she said, oh, well, we, we have sale days, and we put up the picture. And I thought it was that you have to be first to put your name, like comment that you want that pen. No, what you do is you comment, and then it's kind of like a lottery where they just do a random number generator to see if you won that pen or not. Obviously, you still have to pay for it, but you that way you can pick whichever ones you want. Well, I put my name, I think, on three of them. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, I'm not going to get any of them. It's fine. I'll just try it out and see. Well, I ended up winning one. So <laughs> super. And you can only win one pen a week or a sale day, I think. So that's really good. So everybody will have a chance. So that's nice. Uh, so that's shipped. Well, it's mailed. I shouldn't say shipped. It's coming from, I think she said, was it Manitoba? I, I know it's in Canada. I'm, I know that much. Um, I want to say Manitoba, but I'm not a hundred percent on that. There, drill up there. Uh, yeah. So I won one of those, which fine. Okay, have one. Well, then the other lady that I wasn't sure if I was getting the pen or what was going on. We just had back and forth. Well, she messaged me and said, "Hey, your pen's done. How's it look?" And I was like, "Oh my God, I forgot." Like. We got this pen too. So she ended up telling me, yeah, she was just really busy with pen orders. And so now I have two pens on their way to me. Um, whenever they get here, who knows? I'm in no rush. I always tell people that like, there's no rush. I realize shipping is insane right now. Um, I don't expect stuff to arrive. Why am I holding this open? Oh, that's why. I don't expect stuff to arrive exactly when it's supposed to arrive. Like, it's just not going to happen right now. Pandemic times and weather right now is insane where we are. Um, we just got dumped on with a bunch of snow and we're supposed to get hit again tomorrow with snow. So I'm, yeah, I'm no, I'm no rush at all. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, I think this is the first time I get to like unload my brain from not having to talk to my son about math and school and geography and they just started history and I was like what do you need history for you're living in history right now look outside there's a pandemic like um or my daughter who is oh god like does anybody have small kids and like I know I don't have a big fan or fan base I don't have a big subscriber base yet I hope one day too but like Anybody on my sub that subscribed, do you know who Blippi is? Like, where did Blippi even come from? It's this guy. And he's like, he just is super annoying. My daughter loves watching his, his one video. But, like, she'll repeat his whole video. And, like, that's good, I guess. She's learning to talk and stuff. But, oh, my God. I can't anymore with the video. It's just driving me nuts. That and she's really into Peppa Pig right now. So, you know you're watching too much Peppa Pig when you and your husband are starting to like laugh at certain episodes of Peppa Pig. And then I'm like, oh, okay, we need to, <laughs> we need to like turn off Peppa Pig. Like it's enough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's too much. It's a wonder how I even made it out of pandemic times, let me tell you, because I was off for, um, when it first hit, I was off, I was home for six months. Actually, I think I was more, I think it was seven or eight months I was home with the kids, um, because I work in a grocery store, and when we first got hit, my department had shut down to only needing three people. Um, so I worked the first little bit of pandemic times till they, till they decided what they were doing and what all the rules were coming out. And, um, and I went back in September 
to the same amount of crazy, 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 craziness. Do, do, do. There it is. It's like I know there was a single one somewhere. Um, yeah, so like I don't even know how I made it out of this house in one piece with like kids baby shows and my son and homeschooling and I just can't I can't can't do it like I'm good I'm over pandemic times like let's move on let's just I have a plan in my head that like I'm gonna be able to have I want to do a Christmas in July party for like my family because obviously we couldn't have a regular Christmas um this year so I haven't been able to see my brother I haven't been able to um, really see any of my other family other than my mom because my mom lives by herself so she kind of folded into our household when everything happened and yeah it's it sucks but it is what it is right now we're just trying to get through it and you know what? I don't even know how I got on this topic. I should really write notes, and I probably say that every time. Um, don't mind my super chipped nails. That's just from the chemicals at work. It eats them off, so I have to redo them, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow after I get uh, off work. Well, tomorrow I'm not working. Oh my goodness. My brain, I swear. One of these days I'll get it. Anybody see any more sevens? Yes, I do. One more. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm very excited to finish this one up. And I have no plans on framing these just yet. So right now to store them, I have a really long um, box that I roll them up with the diamonds facing out. And I'm storing them in the box for now till I uh, till I know what I'm going to do with them. Nope. Oh, chocolate in there. Don't need that. Okay, what am I going to tackle next? How about the Y? There's a bunch of those. Oh, goodness. get a little drink there um yeah i don't have any tags or nothing to answer today i just thought i'd come on here chit chat a bit get some of this done let you guys know what i have coming in the mail um i haven't seen my mailman in a couple days so i've just assumed that you know snow and they're just gonna stockpile all my stuff <laughs> which is fine i don't that's fine don't bring me bills i don't have to pay them right but right good uh yeah no i have zox bracelets that i'm waiting for and like i said before i'm in no like unless it was like months and months then i could maybe be like okay you know what i need to i need to really kind of look into that but i realize that shipping is a mess and i'm going to be ordering my first custom diamond painting from diamondart.ca uh, her the lady over there's name is Rebecca she's extremely sweet and helpful uh, I had placed an order a while ago with her and she actually found one of the paintings that I had seen in a YouTube video it wasn't available anymore and then she goes oh wait no I think I think I can get you one or I had one or she had found one somewhere so it was really really nice and I really like that rainbow it's like a rainbow kind of Van Gogh background like the Starry Night um, background with a sailboat but it's like rainbow colors and it I don't know something about that like I don't even like sailboats but something about that diamond painting I really like and it was small too so it was like if I remember in my next video I will show it I have it finished because I just have it out in the other room um, and I know I keep saying I'm gonna show the one in my son's room but like he goes to school in there 
so I can't really sneak in. Uh, I'll have to do that on the weekend. Maybe when I do my Saturday, if I do a video on Saturday, I can go in there and show you guys into the layer of the boy. Yes, he's, he's becoming that like sassy teenager already. And like, I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but like, he's just so, he's so attitude-y. And I don't know, maybe it's just like we're locked in the house too much. Like, where else are we going to go? But yeah, oh, the attitude. The attitude comes out in just every single thing. And my mom was actually here <laughs> visiting today and she's like, he's becoming a man. That's what it is. You know, they just, they become a guy. And I was like, I know, but what happened to my sweet little baby boy? Like. And then you get all emotional about that. Like your baby boy is going to be, he's going to be 13 this year. That's insane. Oh, I just, <laughs> did anybody else see me fling that diamond? Oops. That's okay. I have so many diamonds under this desk. That's, that just means the putty is grabbing the diamonds and wanting to keep them. Um, yeah, I can't believe he's going to be 13. That blows my mind. And he, so he'll be 13, my daughter will be 2 in March. So yeah, a bit of an age gap there, which never bothered me. I never, I, yeah, I would have liked to have my kids closer, but it never happened. So you get what you get. And when Alex, Alex is my son, um, when he was about, I want to say 9, maybe eight, eight or nine, I think I just accepted that, you know, I'm only going to have him and that's fine. I was, you know, that's all I get in life. I get just one. At least I have him and that that's that. So we had pretty much decided that's, you know, that's what it is and that we were going to be like the travel people. Like we're going to see the world and go traveling and that was going to be the next chapter and I was all for it like super excited so we booked our first trip to um, Mexico and we were going with a group from my husband's work um, I'm not sure if I told this story on my channel or not but if I didn't or if I did well this is part again <laughs> get to hear it twice um, yeah so we were gonna go for a week in October I believe it was and we had paid for it and everything and I told my husband you know I wasn't sure about Mexico I was like no I don't want to go I'm gonna be kidnapped I'm gonna get like you know you my brain automatically goes to like every possible terrible thing and that's only because of the flight like I hate flying I hate it with a passion I will like my head will tell me every terrible thing like to try and keep me where I am um yeah so I told my husband no 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 and then my husband's like well you know what we'll buy the travel insurance because I said well what if a hurricane like hits like what if there's a hurricane there and we're there or it's gonna be there so we got travel insurance and that year so we had booked that trip in February January or February for later on in the year like in October um so we'd have enough time to pay for it and everything and that year that July uh right before July 1st Canada's day I found out I was pregnant with my daughter um and you you know what I it's hard because like I knew right away when I was pregnant with Alex I knew I knew right away I was pregnant I went to the doctor they told me you're pregnant I said I know with my daughter, I didn't, I didn't know, but I kind of knew, like, it's hard to explain, like, I knew something was off with my body, so I took the test, it said what it said, took another three tests, said it again, called my husband into the bedroom crying, telling him, like, this is, I don't know, like, what's going on, like, is it wrong, like, so, we were shocked, to say the least, and then, nine months later nine months of the absolute worst terrible no good pregnancy I've ever had and I know I've only had two but you cannot pay me enough to have 
a preg be pregnant again. Like it was terrible for her. Um, we had our little girl and yeah, it was, like I said, it was terrible pregnancy, but so back to the traveling thing. So I told my husband and then he was like, are you sure? Like, what are we going to, I said, well, we're like, I can't go to Mexico in October. Like I'll be pregnant. I'm not going, I didn't want to go to a resort and not be able to have any fun drinking. Everybody's going to be drinking and like, no way not happening. And it's kind of good that I didn't go just because of how restricted my diet was when I was pregnant with my daughter. Like, I don't even know how I would have handled it. I probably would have been sick the entire trip. Um, my daughter, when I was pregnant, I couldn't eat any red meat, no pork. Uh, I could eat white meat chicken. That was the only meat. And only sometimes, sometimes it would also make me sick. Like I, she basically turned me into a vegetarian for nine months. Um, I had, I had gotten to the point where I was like, okay, I'm going to buy, I had to buy plant-based burgers for myself just because I wanted to have a burger and like feel like I was having a burger. So those were, those are a great option if you don't eat meat and you want something that, you know, tastes like a burger there. But yeah, I, I don't know. She had so many stuff I couldn't eat, stuff like, and then like I would try, like I'd wait a, a month or two and I'd be like, okay, you know what? I could probably eat a pork chop again or yeah, no, such a bad idea. And she would let me know every time that it was a terrible idea. Okay, now what color? Um, I think I'm going to do this arrow. I like to do like, so like I'll try and get this done today so that when I, when I close this, how long are we at right now? Okay, 27 minutes. So pretty long. I'm going to cut this off pretty soon because I'm running out of things to say and I want to go have some lunch before my daughter wakes up. I said the arrows. There they are. Um, yeah, so if anybody has any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Oh, also, I did want to say, if you do watch the video um, and you notice that the description is blank, uh, what usually happens is because my husband will put the video up for me while I'm putting my daughter to sleep or something that I'm not in the room. So I end up putting the description up a little bit after he actually uploads the video for me. Um, because it's just easier that way and it's super helpful that he does that so I don't have to be in here and fiddling with it so he does all the little graphics and stuff for me and he's really good at that stuff so I appreciate it uh, but yeah if you notice that's why the <laughs> descriptions blank just give it a little bit and then like go back and look at it and you'll see the links and stuff show up was that it for the arrows I guess so. Should I do the sparkly ABs and get those out of the way? If you're wondering why I have two pens, I use this one for ABs. I don't know why. I just do. Probably because I'm crazy. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything, guys. I think I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to, like I said, go eat some lunch. Go get my son a snack, and then I'm going to get ready and go to work tonight. Uh, when I do get my, my pens in, I'll have those up on the channel. And uh, when I get the bookmarks and mermaid pen from Lori, I'll have those up as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!